All right, today we are going to go over the first part of voiceover utilities. Voiceover utility is where you set your personal preferences for how you want voiceover to react to a voiceover key command. And some of those key commands are whether you want when you type to hear feedback from characters, words, characters and words, um, as well as navigational items in using voiceover with the web, your sound preferences, whether you want voiceover to use positional audio and other settings. But this is going to be the first part of voiceover utility. The next part will be out part two next week. This is personal preferences. We've all used screen readers. We know what type of verbosity, what type of feedback that we want. So what I'm going to do is, of course, turn on voiceover utility by holding down the command. I'm sorry, the control option and press the F8 key. Opening voice o voice over utility. Voice over utility window. Utility categories table. Row 1 of 10. General. Selected has keyboard focus. And so what we've learned is that when you open up voice over utilities, you're going to be in a table. And the previous lesson was the voice over quick start tutorial that taught you how to interact and when to interact and stop interacting when in a table as well as the rest of the foundational things that you're going to need when navigating through the voiceover utility. You're going to come across dialog boxes, buttons, pop-ups, tables, tickers, everything that you need and you've learned in the voiceover quick start tutorial. So I will tell you, if you have not practiced the voiceover quick start tutorial, at this point I would stop and go back and practice everything in the voiceover quick start tutorial because it's foundational. If you don't know step one, step two is going to be harder. Um, but we're going to go over the first five preferences and I'm just going to give you a brief overview of each one because like I said, it's personal. It's how you want your voiceover feedback. Um, so what we have initially is general. Um, these are some very basic general settings. You can have feedback when you turn your computer on. For example, mine says, Mr. Jones, you are prepared to empower today. Um, and you have other items of note in the general section. Utility categories table. Re interact with utility. Verbosity. General. Verbosity. Second is going to be verbosity. This is very important. You would set your various announcements, such as whether you want it to speak characters, words, characters, and words. How do you want the different items, such as punctuation, to show? If you just want the first three, do you just want it to tell you that it's three periods, also known as an ellipsis? And how do you want that particular um, item spoken to you and there's a lot of different settings there but again they're personal choices speech and speech your speech feedback um, again that's uh, positional audio and additional things that just um, I'm sorry not positional audio um, actually let me go into it because I am talking out of one side of my neck so Pronunciation tab, two of two. All right, gotcha. Voices, selected so tab, got, one of two. Uh, our voices, this is where we select the different uh, voices and um, how we want their inflection, speed, and all of that configured. Pronunciation tab, we two of two. Pronunciation, that's where we, for example, if we were typing a word and it said Lakisha and you actually wanted it to say Lakisha. This is what you would go into to be able to change that. Mute speech. Uncheck checkbox. And of course, we can mute the speech. We probably wouldn't want to do that as a voiceover user, but hey, you have the option. Category. Voice. 
and um, so because the voices selection is checked it's going to go into the various uh, category voice options. So toolbar back entering voice over utility voice over utility standard window voices selected to utility categories table in navigation and then you have navigation and that's going to deal with your various cursors um, which is very important we will go into that in detail once we actually start the actual live teaching web and then you have the web and how you navigate your web is again a personal preference um, there are a couple of things of note that we want to go over and will go over in the live teaching so um, the most important thing that I want for everyone to be able to get out of this is number one make sure that you have your bases covered with the voiceover quick start tutorial very 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 important the second thing is set up the preferences in one through five starting with the general navigate for general verbosity going down to verbosity speech speech navigation navigation web. and web don't move past that because we want to make sure when we come back next week that everybody is on the same page and everything is the way it needs to be set up but again voiceover quick start tutorial and then move into this particular section setting things up playing around making mistakes testing and checking to see if your settings are the types of feedback and verbosity settings that you want and don't worry because you can always go back and change them once you get more information the most important part is to know how to navigate and to be able to change settings and know that you have a backup of being able to go back and change them so that they work best for you the more you get into learning voiceover.